Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Uh, if you guys saw my previous vlog, then you'll know that I'm in Ireland currently. I'm actually going home tomorrow. I have a 9am flight, which means I have to be at the airport for 6am. Fun! <laughs> and then I have a meeting with my supervisor at 2pm tomorrow to discuss my dissertation. Um, I'm starting tomorrow. Hopefully, that's the plan. I'm gonna at least like go into the lab and just like check out what's up. I kind of need to talk to her just about like how to dissertation, <laughs> how much detail I need to like look at, I, I, all the stuff. I'm like, I just I feel like I don't know anything. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to do it. Oh, I'm just I don't know. I'm like stressing out about it, I feel like I'm not prepared at all and then like they don't even have the handbook up for the dissertation yet um, because I don't think like technically it's supposed to start until October but I'm like loads of us have like so much stuff to do that we're starting in September or to be safe we're starting in September especially because we've got Christmas falling like during Christmas and New Year following falling during our dissertation which means like towards the end we won't be able to contact people we won't be able to go into the lab a lot of us will be home you know so like it makes more sense to start early um but yeah they haven't like released the dissertation handbook yet so we're still not like entirely sure what the word count is how it's going to be submitted like all of that stuff um so that's kind of stressful as well but hopefully my supervisor will have an idea about all of that and then on Thursday, I am meeting with Keith Manchester. Um, he's gonna help me with some of the more like clinical stuff. He said he'd like bring in a few books and just like talk to me about like how he thinks I should go about some things. So that's really nice of him to do that. Uh, Keith's great. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so he's coming in on Thursday. We're gonna have a chat. So I don't know. I'm just like stressing out I don't know what to do I have like a million questions for my supervisor but I also feel like they're like some of the most stupid questions that she's gonna be like can't really answer that because you should know that already but I don't know we'll figure it out <laughs> I'm gonna go steal my cat and cuddle her now in my dorm room. I got in at 9am and I got a taxi home from the airport and then I was gonna take a nap but I'm gonna have to be up at like 9am from now on and if you're in any way a regular viewer of this channel you know I don't have a regular sleep cycle. Um, but I'm gonna have to from now on because I'm gonna have to be in the lab from like 10 till 6 every day. Um, so I was like, no, I won't take a nap. I'll just hang out. I went in at half one. I had a meeting with my supervisor at two. She was a bit late, but it was fine because I was working on something and then I had a chat with her. Finished working in the lab, came back. I was chilling. At home, I'm very tired. Uh, I managed to get to one scholar <laughs> in three hours, but it was a juvenile. Um, now there's like 49 more to go. Yay. Anywho, I'm gonna finish dinner. <sighs> And go to sleep. Thank God for my coffee machine. That's the one thing I'm annoyed about is that I can't bring coffee into the lab.
it is about a quarter past ten. I'm gonna head into the lab soon. I'm running a little late, but I figure I can run over a little bit. No one will care. But my parents brought some of my plants from home, and also we got some weird potion bottles. Let me hurry. Yours. I drank one of them. Um, they brought this one as well, and my wooden hand, which I now have nothing to do with. I had an idea for it, and now I can't remember what the idea was. They brought a table I no longer need and doesn't fit properly over there, so I just shoved it there. I got some new Halloweeny masks. Well, for me, this one's every day, but this one's definitely Halloweeny. Um, they brought some of my other plants. This one's new, though. They bought this one for me at home and brought it. My um, mom thought I might like it. They brought this dome, and then we bought these little uh, um, theater binoculars, just they were in a charity shop, so <laughs> got those, but yeah, that's my room, ignore the mess. They also brought me some more clothes and stuff from home, so they're just chilling around the place, but yeah, that spot there, just right, ignore my breakfast, <laughs> that spot there looks great. The whole rest of the room is a mess, though. So I had a meeting yesterday, Thursday, with uh, one of the professors who's going to help me with the like clinical part of my dissertation. He let me a couple of old uh, medical textbooks to use. Um, he's a really nice guy. Uh, so that's great. I've been getting through things. I'm on schedule, which is good because we didn't think I would be on schedule for the first week just because like, you know, get into things and stuff. But there's a few things that I have to go back over and sort of redo because I've like changed how I'm doing things a little bit. Um, so I think I'm going to do that today just to like get it out of the way instead of just like c continuing on and having to go back and do more later. Um, so I think Friday is just going to be going back, redoing things, and then like try to get back on track as well, because hopefully that won't take me too long. But yep, that's how it's going so far. I thought today I'd do like a short little like what my day looks like kind of thing, like what I've usually been doing. So uh, I usually get up at around 9. Um, it's a little later today because I just was not feeling great. And then I try and get in for 10, but I don't know why it's been like half 10. Usually it only takes me like an hour to, you know, like get ready and get into college and stuff. But I've been getting in at more like half 10. I think it's just because I like I'm setting these times myself. It's not like I actually have to show up for class. So I'm being a little um, lazier in the morning. I am getting up at 9, but then I'm maybe like checking emails and stuff in bed in the morning and then I'm taking a little longer to make breakfast and eat breakfast and have coffee and you know stuff like that so I'm trying to go I'm gonna try to work on that for next week I'm gonna actually try and get in for 10 <laughs> next week but yeah it's been more like half 10 um but yeah so uh, I'll show you guys what I'm up to I can't record inside the lab obviously um but other than that I'll just show you guys what my kind of daily routine is looking like for this portion of my dissertation. So I usually start my mornings off with coffee, definitely coffee, and breakfast and I usually either just catch up on some YouTube videos or some messages or emails, you know, just kind of like sort through stuff. I'm not really in a hurry in the mornings um, to get out because uh, you know I'm kind of on my own schedule and as things stand I'm on schedule and where I should be so you know I try and take my mornings sort of chill um, because I'm one of those people that if I wake up early and I rush to get in by a certain time I'm just gonna be stressed and annoyed when I get in so I just try and do things on my own time So once I get to college, I just sort of settle myself in the lab 
uh, get everything out of the locker that I need, bring it into the lab room that I'm working on, and then I'll go through one skeleton and I'll inventory them, I'll list every bone, their condition, I'll do the pathology assessment for all of them, I'll try and do diagnosis for them if I can. At the moment I've got two different forms of inventory, I've got uh, an excel sheet and I've got a diagram. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to end up putting both in the dissertation but I feel like it's good to have both right now. Usually around two I'll go to lunch. Uh, it depends on how, how like much I've done. Usually it's between a skeleton I'll go to lunch. Like I'll finish up one skeleton and then I'll go to lunch. Um, and then I'll come back to the lab and start on a second one. And then I kind of just do the whole thing all over again. Do another skeleton, another inventory, age, sex assessment, do another pathology report, try and do another diagnosis, and a differential diagnosis, and then I'll fit them into my demographic tables for age and sex, and then I'll fit them into tables for pathologies, like what pathology is present at the site. Um, and that's kind of all the lab work I'm doing at the moment. That's sort of my day. At the moment, I'm getting through about two to three individuals per day. It depends on how fragmented some of them are. Sometimes I get to three if I get a really fragmented one. Sometimes I only get through two if they're fairly complete individuals. And then also, obviously, it depends on how much pathology they have. If they have no pathology, then that kind of just like leaves out one section. I don't have anything to write about. Whereas if they have a lot of pathology, then I have a lot to write about. That is pretty much everything I get up to in the lab at the moment. Obviously, I'm just starting out with things. So that's just like the pace I'm at at the moment, everything I'm getting up to. Right now, hopefully I can get a little quicker because I want to be able to like go back and go a little more in depth into all the individuals I'm going to use, like actually use in my dissertation, like discuss and everything and like build a model of care for and all that. But that's what I get up to at the minute. Yes, I've gotten changed. I'm going out to drinks now with my friends. It's weird like not seeing them in the lab because usually when we're in the lab we're all like, working on reports or studying for exams or you know doing stuff like that so we're all in together it's kind of weird being the only one in there it's also very creepy i scared myself the other day taking a skeleton out of a box it was a skeleton in a box i knew i was taking it out of a box i knew it was a skeleton and yes i scared myself dude i don't know anyway so that's what i've been up to and then i've got a babao a british British Association for Bioarchaeologists and I think that's the title? I do that. Anyway, they're having their annual conference over the weekend, so I'm going to that as well. It should be good. I know a few of my professors and classmates and stuff are going and they're doing this weird like gather town thing for socializing. But yeah, it'd be cool to check that out and to like see everyone's papers and you know, like see what other people are doing for PhDs and things as well. So yeah, that should be fun. that's it for this week's vlog um, didn't really get up to much on the weekend except for the conference because that was kind of on all day um, so I didn't really have time to do anything else uh, but it was interesting there was a few people presenting on things that are like similarly related to what some of my friends are doing for their dissertations so that was cool too and it was just like interesting to like listen to everyone's things and stuff um, me and one of my friends who were at it are talking about maybe going to the in-person one next year because everyone seemed really cool and stuff so also like our professors were there and they were like asking loads of questions and things and it was just I don't know, everyone seemed cool 
am. So that was nice. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. I'm not sure how often I'm going to be vlogging for the next like three weeks because it's going to be pretty much the exact same thing. <laughs> um, I'm like 10 to 6 in the lab every day and then I'm like just resting on the weekends so not really much up there um but yeah so who knows when the next video is or what it's gonna be but make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on so that you know when it comes out hey smooth segue um, but yeah I was thinking about doing a video on like what exactly I'm doing my dissertation on I had to give like a whole presentation for it so I got it down pat I'm not going to actually give you guys the presentation though because I feel like that's a little extreme. But yeah, I thought I might do a video on that. Um, also, I said I was going to do a video on like what tattoos I want to get at some point. So I'll do that eventually as well. Uh, can you tell I'm running out of video ideas here? Uh, but yeah, I'll definitely be vlogging once things kind of change a bit and I'm like out of the lab. Um, when I start writing, which should be in another three or four weeks. Um, yeah, so far everything's going well, I'm, I'm on target, um, for what I'm supposed to be doing, I've found a few cases that are kind of interesting, a few cases that are kind of frustrating, because bones have gone missing and I need them, <laughs> but, yeah, it's a whole, it's a whole thing. I have an x-ray of a beautiful broken tibia, but I have no broken tibia, and it annoys me. But anyway, that's a whole other thing. I might go into it in another video. So make sure you've subscribed. Uh, like, comment, do all those analytical things that YouTube demands of its public. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.